Hey folks, Daily Lens Blog for February the 7th, 2019. Just got back from Winnipeg. In fact, uh, just uh, got in the house, said to Case, hey, do you want to shoot? And Case said, okay, let's shoot. So here we are. So I spent, uh, I guess, just about 24 hours. 24 hours? Yeah, roughly 24 hours in Winnipeg. I gave two speeches, one in the evening and one the next morning. They were separated, I figured out, by 14 hours. By 14 hours and by a million miles. So on the night speech, so um, it was the first one, I just didn't feel good. I was just dreading it so much. All through the day, all I could think about was, I'm, I'm not going to be very good. I just, I was just, I was panicked internally. Uh, and uh, it was uh, it was a battle to get through it, and it was a battle to pretend like I was okay. And I learned some lessons from that, but I always forget the lesson. And the lesson is that people don't know what's going on in my head. People don't know what they're missing, maybe. So afterwards, it was like, hey, good job. Nobody realized that I was struggling and fighting, and I didn't say it at the time because I didn't want to bias people. If you tell people in advance you're really struggling, you don't feel good, then they'll always say afterwards, hey, you know, well, you didn't seem like you were 100% yourself. So then the next day, uh, which would be today, I wake up and I realize I'm feeling a lot better. So I go in to give this speech. 14 hours later, I feel entirely differently. And I get up in front of this audience, largely the same people from the night before, and I say, look, you know, I didn't tell you this last night, but I was really struggling. You know, I talk about depression. I talk about the marks on my arm. I talk about the fact that I'm way better than I ever was, but I'm still not right. And on some days, I'm just not very good. And last night was one of those days. And I thought, you know what? This is such an advantage to me to be able to say that, to be able to say, what did I do last night? I wore the mask. I fooled you. You didn't know that I was struggling. And there's a huge lesson there. Number one is that the people that you care about, if they don't want you to know that they're struggling, you won't see that they're struggling. We all get really good at wearing the mask. And number two, of course, is that we fight on. That's what we do. Can't just say, no, I'm not going up to speak. No, I'm canceling. You go on and you do the things that you're supposed to do. And the fact that you feel obligated to do it is actually a strength because it forces you to get outside of your own head. And even though I found it torturous, I still was able to take a little bit of the focus off of me. And uh, the next day, being today, I felt good. I was in front and I was going, man, this is good. I love this. What an amazing experience when I feel good. And what a terrible experience when I don't. Sicknowweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We're here because you need to know what happens inside a guy's head who's struggling with depression.